All right, guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video. So today I thought we'd do something a little bit different. I talked about this in our last episode of Sun and uh, today we're going to be opening up this Pokemon Sun and Moon booster box. So yes, I decided I picked this up just because I wanted to open it. I wanted to see what was inside. Um, I don't know, I guess the new TCG expansion. If you've been around my channel long enough, you would know that I actually started doing TCG on YouTube. So I guess this is kind of a throwback. And if you've also been on my channel for a while, you've, you'll know that I've shown my face before. Uh, but I haven't recently, so I know this is probably going to be the first time a lot of you guys are seeing my face. So hello, you know, an actual hello from me. My face, I'm here. This is me. Uh, but yeah, I've shown my face a couple times, like I'm not trying to hide it. It's my Twitter profile picture if you've ever wanted to know. But yeah, so I guess face reveal, either way. Uh, yeah, today we're going to be doing this. I'm very excited if you guys are too. Make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, your support is greatly appreciated. And who knows if the support's there, maybe we'll start doing this a little more often on the channel. Why not? Uh, but yeah, I don't know. We might as well just jump right into it. I don't know what else to say. Um, I really only know of some of the cards in the set. Uh, because I do have another box right here that I opened half of and I got some pretty nice stuff So I guess I'll turn on the camera and I'll show you guys what I got really quickly just for fun uh, So we'll turn it on in three two one So the camera's rolling and uh, just the two ultra rares that I got uh, were this Lapras GX and um, This Rotom Dex hyper rare I believe it's called so that was really cool I was really excited about that and uh, yeah, but now we're gonna crack into this box right here a whole new booster box, 36 packs. I'm excited. What's the best way to open these? There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so once I get this open, I'll show off the box on camera. And I know there was some um, controversy or uproar about these boxes being a, a scam, quote unquote. But um, the thing about that is, so if you don't know, Essentially, what you do is you keep opening packs on one side until you get like a holo or an ultra rare or something, and then every three you open that pack. So what we're gonna do to mix it up a little bit for this video, because we're gonna do it all, uh, all the back, uh, all the packs in this video, we're gonna mix them up, and that way uh, we can't really predict where the ultra rares and stuff are gonna come. And I don't have that much space on my table. Uh, so if I knock the camera once or twice, I do apologize. Please bear with me. But yeah, hopefully uh, You will see some more face cam channels face cam channels face cam videos on the channel because now I can actually do it Now I'm actually able to produce the quality with the face cam that I want to so that is very exciting for me Hopefully it's exciting for you. Hopefully you at least you know, like seeing my face. Hopefully I'm not too ugly <laughs> All right, so I think that's good enough. We don't have to mix it up crazy I'd love to put the box in the background honestly I just don't have enough room for that I have to like unplug my keyboard and I don't really feel like doing that so we can just keep it all to the left which is fine by me so here we go first pack of this Sun and Moon booster box uh, this camera does only record 10 minutes so oh no it's 20 minutes hey look at that so it records 20 minutes at a time so if I do have to cut off the video and restart it I'll just say so and perfect. So I'll give away some code cards this video because why not? I don't really use them too much. I really don't. I believe it's one, two, three, four. And we're just gonna casually go through this. And if my camera dies, I'll just end the recording and we will pick back up. So saying all the names is not something I want to do. I'll do it every once in a while, but I'm, I'd rather just talk about um, the arts and stuff. But I do still want to go through all of the um, cards because I want to see the arts. Because like I said, I took a huge, huge break from TCG. No particular reason why, I just guess I fell out of it. I started getting more into Let's Plays and I guess I just didn't see a point in buying them if um, I wasn't going to make content on it um, because I wasn't that into the actual trading card game itself. So I guess that was my logic there, um, but I was into the trading card game for a while. You guys remember back on my channel when I uh, hung out with Shazam a lot, who's a real life friend of mine, who kind of got me into the whole Pokemon scene. Um, he used to be super, super into this, uh, the TCG, uh, actual game, not just opening cards and stuff, even though he did do that on YouTube. So that's how I got into it, and I went to, like, nationals and stuff. I didn't do too good, because I'm not really the, the best player in the world, but, you know what, I still had fun, I was into the TCG, uh, like I said, I just fell out, and, you know what, maybe now, 
I'll get back into it. Who knows? Who knows? Hopefully this is in focus. It's kind of hard for me to see because this is the angle I'm looking at it at. Uh, but Pokemon Catcher, remember how that card used to be so freaking good when you didn't have to flip a coin for it to be a... Um... Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Lunala GX. Oh my god. These GX cards really throw me off. Like, I feel like they're supposed to be full arts, but they just take up the whole card. But you know what? I'm definitely down with that. That is sick. Here we go. Lunala GX as our first ultra rare. You can put that in the background. I don't know if it's going to show, but yeah, well, oh well. Oh well, but yeah, I will definitely take that. That is sweet. But yeah, Pokemon Catcher, essentially what it does is it allows you to take up a, uh, allow to bring up a Pokemon uh, from your opponent's uh, bench to their active position, and then you can attack it, right? Um, and now it requires a coin flip for you to be able to do that, but it used to not, and it was really, really good. It was really good, I remember that. That's around, I think when it got a, and it got the change to be able to coin, uh, be a coin flip, is when I kind of stopped playing. Not because of that, but just because that, I don't know, it was just the time. Little pup, Paris. I really love these arts though. It's so nice. It also, it's so nice to see the um, sun and I love when that happens. That happened to me when I was opening the other side of uh, that box. I got like two Cosmoms, I think, in the same pack, and I was like, well, what can you do? What can you do? <laughs> There's nothing you can do. I love the pack arts too. This set is just beautiful. It really is. Um, because there was so many sets before this that I missed. There was like Fates Collide. Uh, wow, that's the only one I could think of. Breakthrough, Breakpoint? I don't know. I don't know much. I don't know much. All right, let's see. Yeah, I also noticed they give you water energies now, which is really cool because they used to not at all. You just have to buy theme decks if you want an energy, or you'd have to like buy them online or something. But if you wanted them from packs, you'd have to get a theme, not a theme deck, a, um, an elite trainer box. Ooh, Shinata Kala, that's cool. What does Lily do? Draw cards until you have six in your hand. It's your first turn, draw cards until you have eight. Okay, that's interesting. Is that kind of like... No, it's not. I don't want to say any stupid things, and the people that are like avid TCG players are going to cook me in the comment section because I said something wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Alright. <clears throat> Open this. There we go. Hopefully when I open the pack, the freaking, uh, I don't know, the noise isn't too crazy on the mic. Because the mic's decently close to me. I didn't really know how I wanted to set this up completely, so it's kind of just meh, you know? I just kind of threw this little setup, my record, like, I have my keyboard in the background for some, like, weird, like, aesthetic effect. I don't know what that is. I, I don't know what that's supposed to be. You can see my audacity going right there. I point to it. And here's my freaking OBS recording my webcam. I'm the best, best TCG YouTuber ever, man. Uh, sh sh there we go. Wingle, Poplio, Primarina. Got yeah, Poplio and Primarina in the same pack. Would you look at that? And then we got another water type, Golduck. So we got the water type pack going. It's a little Galio. Yeah, but like I was saying before I cut myself off, the art is just so amazing. I really, really appreciate that. Everything is just so detailed. You know what that means? You know what that means? We can start using the uh, TCG arts in uh, Let's Plays for like the boxes. I really, I used to do that a lot, and I kind of stopped because, you know, I mean, I couldn't do it for Sun and Moon considering, um, you know, sets were now and stuff. So there wasn't art for every single Pokemon. I just don't think there is. Maybe, does every single Sun and Moon Pokemon, or Alola Pokemon, I should say, not Alola form, Alola Pokemon, have a um, TCG card now? I wouldn't know. That's why I'm asking, because I wouldn't know. Pre Marina art. I'm not trying to go too fast. I'm trying to take my leisurely time, but uh, my camera does have two bars of power. I'm not really sure if that's good or bad. I think if it starts blinking, it's bad. I mean, does that make sense? I don't know. Hopefully, the lighting's good too. I like I like I haven't used face cam in a while, so I haven't really been paying attention to how much lighting I need recently. So you know what? Now I'm gonna have to like prepare before I record, which is crazy. Cause normally I just do it on a whim. I just make sure my voice is good, and that's about it. Now I have to like look like you know presentable. You know, you feel, you feel. I don't have to look like a model. I don't have to get ready for a photo shoot or anything, but I still gotta look, you know, decent. I don't know how many of these code cards I want to give out though, because I kind of want to open some too. But you know what? As for now, I'm feeling a little generous. So why not? Why not, man? Why not? 
Maybe we'll get some of our um our team from uh, what's it called? Oh, Sina Sina Hollow. Cool. Our team from our Sun Randomizer because I saw we had a uh, there's a Trumbeak in that pack. I don't know if two cannons in this set. Maybe he is. Two cannon GX would be sweet. If that already exists, I'm sorry because I'm probably just a freaking idiot. But if it doesn't, that'd be cool. I really should have looked up the set. So I don't have to question or say, hey, that would be really cool. And then I have to say, wait, what if that's actually a thing? I should just be a little more content with my answers. But you know what? Or my guesses, I should say. Is that four? It is four. Cool stuff. All right. This is also something I'd love to do on stream. Open packs. That'd be really fun. That'd be really fun. I have to get like some makeshift set up where I'd have to move my webcam down here. Incineroar. But you know what? Do it for the vine. Actually, you can't really do it for the vine anymore because vine is dead. Which is something I'm sad about. I used to really like vine. I don't know why. It was one of like, not really my first social media. That was one of the first social media I could say like I got addicted to for a while. Like right when it first came out, I was like watching vines every single day. Back when the cringy stuff was kind of okay and acceptable. You know what? Vine was fun. Vine was fun. I'm just on Twitter and YouTube. I mean, I use Snapchat, but that's personal life stuff. You guys don't care about that. I'm not very interesting. Snubble, Parasect. So the pull ratio is pretty weird for this set, I've noticed. Especially because I opened that other side too. So, you know, I've got a decent amount of experience. No, I actually have trash experience opening these. But you know what? I think I'm at to the point where I can say the pull ratio is definitely a lot worse than what it used to be. Because um, I used to open a lot of booster boxes. You can go to my channel and, you know, go back in the day when I still the TCG all the time and you will see a lot of booster box openings and a lot of them are really good too a lot of them are really good I used to have some pretty decent luck which was nice so maybe this is you know karma just like hey maybe we'll uh we'll cut you cut you short now and I'm like oh whatever gramble and a is that <gasps> that's four yo a gum shoes GX full art so I'm pretty sure this one's for because it actually has texture. That would make sense to me. And if it's not, it's not the end of the world. Because yeah, it has the same check, uh, texture as the Hyper Rare Rotom decks I got. So that is freaking sick. My friend um, Seth for Paralyzed Hacks, we were, uh, he was in call or on Discord when we were uh, opening the right side of that booster box. And he was like, dude, if you get a Gumshoes EX, it's a pretty good card. So let's see, what does it do? I'll hold it on camera so you guys can see too. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may have your opponent reveal their hand. Headbutt bounce for 100 damage, 3 energy. Gumshoe chance GX, or Gumshoe chance. This act is 50 damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Oh, wait, 10 plus 50 times the. Oh, that's pretty dang good. I do say so myself. Definitely happy about that pull. That was sweet. Awesome. So we got two ultra rares so far. Definitely happy about that. I can't complain on one side of the box too So just as I was talking about pull ratios, we get a uh, really really nice gumshoes EX so GX I should say I don't want to get too into that too into saying EX You know wouldn't want to make a mistake or something like it's the end of the world and I misspeak and I call a Zygarde sell a Zygarde course. I can only imagine how bad it would be if I called that an EX card right guys right steeny and two there's your boy there's your boy. Two cannon. Two cannon. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. The center looks so freaking cool on there. I'm really happy they centered the uh, pack arts around the starters. I really think uh, that's a really cool concept, I do think. It was a good idea. It was a good idea, too, because they could have easily just made it um, Lunala and uh, Solgaleo. They mixed it up a bit. They mixed it up a bit. Alright, we got Torcat, one of my favorite Pokemon right there, Torcat. Energy Switch. Let's see. Ooh, Marini. That, oh, see, that's another pack I really like. And when I saw Cosmog the first time, I was like, hey, oh, I didn't know Lanterns in the set. I freaking love Lantern, man. One of my favorite Pokemon. If Absol was in the set, I think I'd cry. Wait, isn't it? I feel like I've seen an Absol Hollow. Maybe not from this set. I don't know, I'm crazy. Don't kill me. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to bear with me. <laughs> you really are. It's gonna be hard, I know, but you're gonna have to. Ooh, this pack, this pack's feeling a little, a little thick. I, I don't know, guys. Whatever I say that though, there's never anything in it. There's never anything in it. All right, after this side of the box, 
I'm done giving away these code cards. Please only take one. Don't be a freaking meanie pants. Don't be a meanie pants and take all of them. That would be bad. Well, that would be bad. They'd just be kind of annoying. Come on, be condiserate. Be condiserate. <laughs> I know it's considerate. I feel like I always have to correct myself whenever I make a joke like that. I don't know. Because people think I'm stupid or something. I don't, I don't know what gave off that vibe. I don't know. Have you watched my videos? Alright. <laughs> Second to last code card. Enjoy it. If you get anything cool, tweet me. Let me see a screenshot. I want to see. I need some proof. No, not really. I just want to see if you got anything. Gramble, Bulldor, Switch, Skarmory, Poliwag, Sandy Gast, Eevee. <laughs> so freaky. <laughs> so weird, man. Sorry. What'd they do to you, Eevee? How? Draw three cards. And a Crocodile How. Cool. Draw three. Isn't that like Sharon? Is that what Sharon did? Oh, no. Never mind. That was the third to last code card. So this is the second one. So they have, is Lunala on a, is Lunala pack art in this? I don't think so, actually. That's weird. So it's everything else but Lunala. You never know, man. No, not, not you never know. I was gonna say, I was gonna say something witty, yet stupid, but I didn't. Because it just didn't happen. Pincer, Timer Ball, Growlithe. I'm just gonna start reading the names that I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> Zubat, Torkoal, Rowlet, Potion, Incineroar GX! Yo! Look at his eyes glow right there. That is sweet. That is definitely, definitely cool. Alright. So my camera is on one battery, or one bar of battery right now. So uh, what I think I'm gonna do, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'm gonna open this pack right here, because it's the last pack of that side. And I'm gonna end off the recording. And then I'm gonna charge my camera a little bit so it gets back up to full. Not full, uh, but just enough to record this last part. And then we will, um, what's it called? Uh, we will restart up the opening. Or for me, it's gonna not gonna be anything for you, you guys, because I'm just gonna edit it, right? Energy, Gramble, Double Colorless. Double Colorless was a really cool Energy. Remember, uh, people used to run that on Mewtwo, I think, and had a, build, a move called X Ball, I think, and you, the amount of energy on it did like more Bombi and Beware, Beware. All right, um, goes there. I have a little pile of reverses and re reverse eye reverses on the desk right there. All right, so like I said, we are going to end off this part right here just so I can charge my camera and stuff, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so we are back. It didn't take too long for the camera to charge up, but I just really did not want the camera to die while recording, and then I would lose all that footage, and that would just, it would just suck. It, it really would. So either way, of course, we have this half of the booster box to go the left side, and let's just go ahead and get right into it. We got all of these packs. Let's freaking go. Empty booster box, man. Been a while since I've seen one of those. It really has been. You know what? It's time. We've gotten uh, three ultra rares, I do believe. I think it's three. Yeah, three. Uh, in which one of them was a four. So I will definitely, definitely take that. I don't expect to get too much more out of this box. And if we don't get anything, uh, it's not the end of the world. It really isn't. Um, but, but you know what? It's fine. It is all right. So let's go ahead and focus up. Actually, I'm gonna move my camera a little bit closer to the edge of what I have it sitting. There we go. All right, so here we go. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to hop into the second half. So maybe while I was waiting for the camera to charge, I should have a Tauros GX. <laughs> that was definitely unexpected. Okay, not bad at all. Not even bad, not even bad. I was just about to say, um, while I was waiting for the camera to charge, maybe I should have looked up the set list. And then while I said that, we pulled a card that I had no idea was even in the set. So, uh, would you look at that? Perfect timing. Someone the other day said, um, that someone should make a compilation of times in videos where I say something and then, like, it happens directly after. Because it happened in, um, the Sun episode where I said the egg was gonna hatch soon and then it immediately hatched once I said that. So someone was like, hey, someone should do that. And I was, I said, that's a brilliant idea. Because it happens more 
more than you would think it would. It really does. It happened right there. Here we go. We got your boy a young fighting energy Pokeball Hypno. <laughs> it looks like... It really just looks like Play-Doh inside of a donut. I don't know if it's just because it's a card, but you know what, man? I, I'm just saying if I saw Malasada in real life, I don't think I'd be the biggest fan of it. I'm gonna say that right now. I mean, obviously, I think this is the Pokemon version of a Malasada, right? Can't be the, I mean, if Hal likes them, you know what? Maybe we should uh, get on the wave. Maybe we should. I don't know. I can never tell if the camera's focused just because the way I'm looking down at it. I think for the most part it is, and if it isn't, I'm gonna be very, very upset. Uh, obviously, it's not the biggest deal in the world. No, it actually is the biggest deal in the world. I don't know why I said that. Because if the camera's not focused, then that means you can't really see the freaking cards. And then what's the point of me doing this, right? That makes sense. Rabala. That's a sweet card. Rabala is sweet. Beauty Fly. Pre Marina. Oops. Keep bumping this, man. If we do more TZG, I'll definitely get like an actual setup for it. And I'll try to figure out something that works because I don't want to keep bumping my camera. Uh, maybe next time I'll like move my keyboard or something. I don't know. We will definitely figure it out. We will definitely figure it out. Uh, obviously, we have to figure out if we're doing more TCG on the channel or not. This is just supposed to be like a little fun video for the weekend. Because, um, I mean, you're still going to get an episode of Sun today. Or you should have already got it, or it might go up later. Not sure yet, but there's definitely going to be two episodes of Sun this weekend. Because I'm actually on break now. Um, I, today is actually Friday when I'm recording. What? No freaking way, dude. Another is that that's a hyper rare, right? So that's the hyper rare. Dude, that is freaking ridiculous. I don't care that it's like a dupe, right? Because obviously we already got a Tauros, but that doesn't matter to me at all. Dude, this box is insane. This box is insane. Yeah, 156 out of 149. Dude, that is freaking oh, let me get a better shot of that. Oros GX, man, that's a sexy card. It really is. Ah, I'm so excited. That's awesome. That's awesome. So we're getting a little concerned about the pull rates, but I'm not worried at all now. If we don't get anything, these last packs could have air inside of them, and I wouldn't. Care. Actually, that's not 100% true. I feel like I'd, I'd feel a little ripped off if that were the case. But you know what? I don't think that'll be the case. At least I hope not. I hope I don't open one of these packs and it's. And it's just air. Doesn't that, ha doesn't that happen with Coca-Cola sometimes? Where if you get like a, co a pack of Coca-Cola. This one's not focused. Focus. You get a pack of Coca-Cola, and then one of the cans has like, uh, what's it called on it? Or one of the cans is just completely empty. On it? I don't know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I mix up my words if I'm trying to do something at the same time when I'm talking. That's why that didn't make any sense. Alright. Yeah, hopefully in focus i think it is i think it is all right go because this camera's never really let me down it's been uh the tcg camera i've been using for a long i used to use my iphone <laughs> for the longest time and then i started using this camera and it's been pretty good from what i can remember so hopefully it's still pretty good oh having to pay attention to where i am in the webcam is not something i'm 100 percent used to now so if i'm ever out of the frame a little bit or not perfectly in the frame I apologize, but there we go. We got a hollow Rabambi. That's cool. So I think Rabambi is actually a reverse in this set too. So you can get a reverse rare and a hollow Rabambi in the same pack. Interesting. Interesting. Or yeah, I don't know why they changed. I think they changed the card trick because of this energy card, right? I think that energy card is what throws it off. Hold on. Get in the focus. There we go. Yeah, I feel like it's that energy card that throws it off. Who knows, man? Well, actually, probably some of you guys know. Alone Ratata and Hariyama. Hariyama. It's obviously a lot more fun opening these when um you're towards the beginning of the box because then you see all the cards you haven't seen before. And then it's all like, you know what? I've seen these. You know, you see you know more of the uncommons and stuff like that, but... We got ourselves a young fire energy. It recognized the fire energy as a face on the camera. Like, you know how there's the little, uh, not orange, yellow box that goes around it when it thinks it's a face? Oh, that's sweet. What the heck? Alolan Mutt. Hollow. 
Lola Muck is really cool. When it first got revealed, I remember a lot of people really hated it. Uh, I was always Team Muck, or Team Alolan Muck, I should say. I think the colors and the way they would fluctuate in battle is so freaking sick, and I've been saying that ever since. Oh uh, yeah, there are definitely some Alolan Muck haters, and I just can't, I cannot understand. I cannot understand. Uh, there we go. Just wanted to make sure that was four. And it was. Corsola. I think it's so sad that freaking, like, Marinis and Toxapex just eat Corsola. Like, Corsola ain't do nothing wrong. Corsola really ain't do nothing wrong. And beware. Like, he was just minding his business in Hoa, and then he, you know, probably migrated to Alola or something. And then, these freaking things just eat them. And he's like, oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm, I should be on, like, Natural Geographic. Like, we are here at the bottom of the ocean. We are watching the poor Corsola as it gets devoured by the Toxapex. Yeah, I feel like that's my next job right there. It's just National Geographic worker. Can this freaking focus? No? Buddy? Buddy? There we go. Look at that. Look at that. It comes around eventually. It comes around eventually. You have my hand dips down or anything? I'm sorry. Just don't kill me. Parasite. I feel like we, yeah, we just got a reverse rare Parasect. Look at that. Oh, hold on. I put those in the wrong pile. I put the reverse. The rare is supposed to be up. Look, silly me. Silly me. Oh, and the webcam focuses too. Oh, there's so much to worry about. I, actually, the webcam's on autofocus, I think, so it should be good. Right? Right? I don't know, because I can't look here. I can't look here at the same time. How do people do this, man? How do people do this? It's mind boggling. I can't really do a face cam video without, um, or a TZG video without face cam, though, or at least I don't think I would be able to. I feel like that's my, that's the best part. Seeing the person's reaction whenever they get, like, a card or something. Rutini, Cutie Fly, Chinchou, Merlul, Chinchou, and Umbreon GX. Yo. That's freaking sick. This box is god tier. <laughs> Yo, Umbreon GX. This is a really nice card. Any day of the week, I will take that. Any day. Except on a Tuesday. Those are the days where I'm kind of like, you know, kind of laid back a little bit. More of an Espeon guy on those days. But then, you know, any other day, right? Any other day. It's totally me. All right. So we got about, I don't know how many packs left. One, two, three, four, five, six left in this video. Plus this one, so seven, really. Maybe we can get one more, um... Ultra rare. That'd be really nice. I would definitely be down for that. The Lepup, Paris, Firo, Corsola, and Cloyster. I feel like whenever I'm reading the names, we never get anything. Maybe that happened one time when I was reading the names, we got something. I don't know. But um, whenever I'm like talking about something, I have to interrupt myself to be like, oh, that's a good, that's a good one. That's a good cone. <laughs> I think I was just talking about, but yeah, it was that. See, it seems like so long ago since I was doing this because normally I would do the whole box in one sitting and I did do it in one sitting it's just like you know it was interrupted and it kind of had to be because even if the camera had full battery I would have to stop the recording and restart which I guess would still be in the same session right so it's not like it's changing the world I don't know what I'm talking about don't listen to me actually if you're watching this video kind of have to listen to me there's no one else here so um <laughs> it also feels really weird recording without my headset like this is what my voice sounds like yeah, because I know I have my Razer headset over there and I'm sitting on a stand and I was gonna wear it for this video before I started recording I was like why the hell would I wear that there's no I'm not listening to any game sound that just that'd be stupid that doesn't make any sense so I took it off took it off I said to hell with it getting real sick of these energies pulling pranks on me man getting real sick of it <laughs> rock and roll up polywhirl Stalin. Oh, crap. There we go. Oh, that, that immediately as I said, there we go. I was pushing the cards out of the side and they hit the camera. Or I hit the box the camera's on. I have it on this... We, I don't like when the camera's directly on the table. Because then either I have to zoom out to get the whole card in. And if I want to get like a close shot of the card, not all of it fits in. Because the camera lens is kind of would be low to the ground if I were to lay it flat. So I have to put it on something. And I put it on this box for a speaker. And it's a decently big box. I couldn't find anything else. And I was like, you know what? Whatever. I guess it works. And um, that's 
why I keep hitting it. It's, it's not my fault, guys. Ooh, Incineroar. Okay. Yeah, we got an Incineroar G. I don't even remember what we got. So this recap at the end of it of what we got is going to be news to me. It really will. Normally, I used to sleeve the hollows a lot, but I did. I have so many sleeves. I got this box from David Adams Card. Well, I got both of them from David Adams Card World, right? And they sent me four packs of these sleeves. I only asked for two. Well, okay, first off, if you spend like over a certain amount of money, you get like bonus stuff. And I said I wanted packs and they normally give you, or not packs, like, you know, sleeve packs. And they normally give you two, they gave me four. So I'm like, I, I'll take it. I, <laughs> I'm not gonna argue about it, but like, now I have so many. I have a lot of, I have like a whole tin full of sleeves. I have some really cool ones too. I remember at nationals, they were selling them. And there were some really sick ones. They're also really expensive though, so I only got to get a couple cool sets. Poison Bar, that's a trainer card I never thought I'd see. Psyduck, Spiro, Dratini, Carvana, um... Ilima- This is such a good box, dude. Ilima Fort? What? That's insane. That is actually insane. Oh my god. Well, we we got our wish of getting one more um, ultra rare. It definitely happened. Didn't expect it to be a full art though. So we got two full arts and a hyper rare in the same box as well as three other GXs. We got Tauros. No, we got two hyper rares. No, no, we got, what am I talking about? We got one hyper rare, two full arts, and Three GXs? We got Tauros, uh, Incinero- no, no, I don't know. I know we got Lunala. Fighting energy, whatever. It doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. We'll get to recap later. But this is insane. I did not expect this box to go this well. I'm glad I picked this one to open up on YouTube. <laughs> I'm really glad I picked the better one. Because that other one, obviously it could be really good. Like, it already gave me a Hyper Rare. Um, but only two things out of 18 packs is crazy. And this one is giving us ridiculous pull rates. Uh, but this is the last pack of the box. So hopefully, maybe it'll have something in it. If it does, I'm gonna freak out because um, that's insane. That's actually insane. And I'm gonna do what I used to do is I will put it down like that. Put down the reverse and the rare. We'll go through it. We got ourselves a fire energy. I'll, I'll say this one. Uh, should I do ASMR? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Lynn, Young, why did I even like consider that was a was a good option? <laughs> Anyways, we have um a Crocker Rock Reverse Rare and a Masquerade. So unfortunately, uh, not really unfortunately, nothing else. Um, can't really complain. Cannot complain at all. Uh, this was an absolutely insane box. Really happy about it. So I'll get everything out right now and we can go over it really quickly uh, just to Give you guys a quick recap. Sorry if I hit the thing. Uh, yeah, this is insane. So much shiny stuff. Jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ultra rares. One of them being a hyper rare. Two of them being full arts. That is freaking ridiculous. That that's a good pull rate for like not really what they used to be. Like the pull rate. Or, I don't know. That's around what I would normally get. I think. I don't know. Either way. We have ourselves Lunala GX, Incineroar GX, Tauros GX, Umbreon GX, Illuma Full Art, Gumshoes Full Art, and last but not least, Hyper Rare Tauros EX. Actually insane. So, thank you guys so much for checking out this booster box opening. Hopefully, it was up to par with uh, quality standards. I don't know. It's my first one in a long time so please bear with me uh but hopefully it was good hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like and maybe let me know if you want to see some more tcg openings in the future i don't plan to do them that often but you know what i feel like opening some cards i'll make sure to open them on camera and uh, we can do like a rather special weekend video or something like that but either way thank you all for watching hopefully you enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time peace out